Hey everybody, uh, just sitting here before getting ready to go to work and I want to make a video about a couple things so I figured I'd make it together. One is the treatment of adjunct professors at the college and university level it is atrocious for, mo for the most part. Um, I've known a couple. I have friends that adjunct. I've thought about adjuncting myself, but after hearing their stories, it's not a very attractive proposition. Um, you don't have a lot of leverage, usually no benefits, and there's no guarantee of work. Um, you know, it's kind of like a semester to semester gig, which can and often does get shifted and taken away at, uh, according to the needs of the university um, there's a lot of politics involved in some of that as well uh, so I can't do anything about it except be frustrated uh, and feel bad for my friends but I think that that needs to change in some way I don't know if there could be some sort of national uh, union for, for adjuncts is like the only way I'd see that they'd have any leverage um, but it's really sad because you, you know you go to school for so long uh, and the positions are so competitive that many times people end up ad adjuncting um, fantastic educators and uh, artists themselves they just get screwed over by the system but you know um you got to do what you got to do. The second thing I wanted to talk about was the, well, what I perceive as the homogenization of, of art and particularly photography. This is a photography channel after all, but I'm so sick of seeing the same kind of work over and over. Uh, I know, I know if, if you know who Alex Soth is, you know, he's, he is, uh, you know, a very famous photographer. Uh, I respect his work. I'm, I'm not so thrilled by it. I mean, it's it was very formulaic, and I'm not really a fan of formulaic work. I mean, they're usually frontal, direct, posed portraits shot on color. Um, and, you know, the pictures are pretty. They're pretty pictures, but um, he works, I, I guess, in a sort of documentarian fashion where he's going around to these little communities and and making uh, work about them well his style I feel has been copied over and over and I know he uh, you know is a fan of Renicky Dijkstra and before her you know there was people doing this kind of same work in even even you know going back a hundred years but it's it, it, it's an aesthetic that it just keeps getting done and, and, and rehashed over and over um, you know it, you know try something else do something else I mean okay I, I, I'm sick of the work honestly uh, I couldn't give you um, an example off the top of my head but um, it's straight on you know deadpan you know, full frontal style of work it's it's just boring is what it is um, I, I don't I don't see what what the thrill of okay let me get a, a large format camera you know and um, take a picture of just anyone standing in front of the camera and, and and okay and that's supposed to be deemed high art or whatever um, it's just not interesting to me. Um, it, it can be well done, but most of the time it's just a copy of uh, basically Reineke Dijkstra's work, which is, um, you know, her work, it, it was done a long time ago. So that bothers me. And also this idea of the homogenization of, of art deals with a movement away from straight photography 
which would be a philosophy in of engaging the world through the camera of discovery of perpetual randomness random encounter with the world making pictures you couldn't imagine you know as Gary Winogrand would have said he wanted to make pictures that he couldn't have couldn't have have imagined uh, and there's there's discovery there there's um, something new always you know interacting with the world with the camera you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna catch what you're gonna get without some predetermined project or predetermined idea I think that's very important and I think that's something that's being moved away from a lot of the work I see nowadays is anything but straight photography let me um, find negatives and throw bleach on them um, let me throw bleach on my own negatives and see what happens let me collage let me do photo montages um, you know any manner of documentary style work um, it's as if you can't make photographs without a do uh, some sort of documentary idea well it, essentially all photography is, is documentary uh, in a way uh, not really in a way because all photographs lie there's, there's no there's no context in any photograph all photographs are decontextualized and therefore um, they require they require other things for them to become a sort of documentary a sort of documentation of something either by writing or a collection of images that get sequenced to tell a story of some sort um, but the image a single image all images are, are decontextualized essentially uh, just by the medium itself right we're selecting a frame out of reality and presenting that and saying hey look at this particular set of facts that stood in front of the camera at this particular time there's no other context um, that's something that's very important to me that a photograph must be interesting on its own um, a lot of programs that I see at the university college level have become just copies of the same thing um, come up with some sort of idea some sort of project so, some sort of do long-term documentarian thing by the way that has nothing to do with photography that is uh, some sort of uh, journalistic approach which uh, th that's fine if that's what you want to do but it, it, you know how much of that are, are you are, how much of that can you do before it just becomes the same redundant thing I mean we might as well all become journalists we might as well all become writers if if that's what we're interested in um, I'm interested in taking pictures and looking at pictures and um, there's a transformation that happens when reality becomes a photograph that transformation is what's interesting to me I I'm less interested in what the pictures are of uh, and I'm more interested in what they are about uh, and that question is something for another video it's a topic that I could go on for, for quite a while um, but you know the, the about deals with what's going on in this frame and the of is oh it's a picture of a person holding a dog you know when you ask that question what is this picture of it's a picture of a person holding a dog the conversation ends there there's nothing else to talk about you know what's this picture of oh it's a project I did on X Y or Z thing that I determined was interesting enough to photograph or or this art activism uh, thing that's really big now is pick uh, a controversial topic and make work about it the work can be terrible you could have zero um, you know training or skill but because it's of a controversial topic then it automatically gets accepted certain topics are more popular than others and then you know you can you can gain um, I don't know attention 
by putting yourself into um, the, the in, in, in by injecting yourself into a situation that's controversial or politically charged, it automatically will gain a, you know attention. Never mind that the work is 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 bad. So just wanted to get that off my chest and hopefully I can make some more videos like this if you guys enjoy them and I'll see you guys next time.